Don't be afraid to take up space in the rooms that make you feel small. Don't be a good one. Hey y'all, it's Short and Stoned, but if you're new here, you can call me Kelly. I'm a Canna advocate, medical patient, and solventless foods entrepreneur. On today's episode, I am going to be sharing with you insightful and informative advice from female Canna creators. Today's video is super special because I've had the privilege of connecting with some amazing women in the canna industry. I've included these women because they're not only creating amazing content, but through their sharing of advice with me, they've showed that they're dedicated to uplifting others as well. So I reached out to some ladies who I genuinely admire and they've been generous enough to share some insightful information, advice, and wisdom with me. I'm excited to pass this on to you. We'll be talking about everything from creating engaging content to building strong communities, all through the voices of these inspiring creators. Let's dive on in because these women have so much knowledge to share. First up, we have Joya from Two Girls, One Bong. If you've been consuming content in the space for a while, I'm sure you've seen her around as she's been creating content on here for almost a decade. What a privilege it is to share Joya's advice. She shares, and I quote, my biggest piece of advice would be create consistency in your content, whether that's the frequency of which you post, the phrases you use, posting on the same day or every week, or the type of edits you use. Those are all a part of your brand and they make you recognizable. It gives people something to remember about you. I would also say that connecting with your audience is paramount. This benefits everyone in such a special way. Responding to comments, messages, or allowing people to participate in your content Content, like answering audience questions in your videos, all help your audience feel more connected to you and you to them. Connecting with my viewers over the years has been priceless. And that was my main reason into getting back into YouTube. I love how Joya emphasizes consistency and connection. Those are huge in building any kind of platform and genuine community, but also it fosters a lasting relationship with your audience and vice versa. Thank you, Joya. As someone who watches 2G1B regularly, like, thank you, girl. Thank you. Next, we have Christina from Canna Christina on YouTube and Instagram. She gave some amazing advice on staying true to your purpose and why you're creating in the first place. Here's what she said. Know your why and why you intend to create this type of content. Some may have questions for you or you may run into some obstacles along the way. So you'll want to be able to remind yourself why. Set and reach goals for the short and long term. Where do you want your content to go? And after you've been doing it for a while, ask yourself what's inspired you to create content in this space that's still often stigmatized and numbers are often way lower on these types of posts. This is because of censorship and again the general stigma but make content that's authentic to you. It doesn't just have to be someone else's regurgitated content. Know what sets you apart from others because being different is what makes two new viewers and potential companies that might want to collaborate. Christina's point about knowing the why is crucial. Expect especially in an industry where creating content is so challenging. She touched very well on the dropping number of engagement and the censorship and stigma that this content faces. But knowing your purpose will help you push through. Very well said, Christina. Thank you for sharing. Let's talk more about diving into your niche with Alice from Wook Sauce Winery. Oh my God, I'm so happy to hear from this hash maker extraordinaire. Alice had some powerful words on finding your niche and staying authentic. One of the biggest things I've learned throughout my journey is that finding your niche and fully diving into it is key. It's important to create something that's authentic that you're truly passionate about. Passion is contagious. I'm gonna run that back one more time. Passion is contagious. People can feel it when they engage with your content and that's what keeps them coming back. 
So always lead with your heart and let that shine through everything. As for being a woman in the industry, it's important to acknowledge that some paths are definitely harder. We are constantly tested and doubted, and there's an unspoken pressure to prove yourself more than male counterparts. This is where investing in your education and honoring your craft makes all the difference. Be ready to assert yourself, ask questions, and take up space in rooms you might feel small in. Oh my gosh, go off, Alice! It is through knowledge, passion, and persistence that we earn the respect we deserve. At the end of the day, authenticity and resilience is what will set you apart. Keep pushing boundaries. Stay true to who you are and know that you're part of a real community of women making a genuine difference. Round of applause. Wow, she was dropping some absolute knowledge. I hope you guys really took that to heart. I was so thrilled to read that response initially. Her emphasis on passion and resilience is key. And with the good reminders to stay true to yourself and always honor your craft. I hope that really resonates with you guys. But I'll end just re-quoting what needs to be said and echoed in so many rooms. Don't be afraid to take up space in the rooms that make you feel small. Let your knowledge and passion show. Taking up space in the industry as a woman is essential to moving this community forward. Now I'm going to share from Kylie of Hello Kitty Smokes here on YouTube. I wanted to highlight her as she's been growing her micro inclusive community. Here is what Kylie had to say about creating a safe space. I created my community with the intention for it to be a safe space for everyone to come and enjoy something that is best in a community so that they know how to consume safely and as much as they are comfortable with to get the desired feeling and experience they want. Something that I repeat often to my audience is reassurance that you can start slow and always go from there. To be really in tune with yourself and craft the elevated feeling that you desire. This plant is something when used to its full advantage can range in one's benefits from helping mental to physical health. As someone who struggled with long-term PTSD and depression, this plant has allowed life to seem more approachable to me. Girl, same. Which to some people can even save their lives. If I can reach those people struggling and share safe and controlled ways to explore a path that might alleviate their pain, relieve symptoms for them, it's worth it to me to keep searching for the right community for them to feel welcome in and safe to ask questions or even just company to partake with. Kylie's message about creating a welcoming and safe space I feel is so important. The idea that we can build community where everyone feels safe and supported no matter their consumption level is what it's all about. So thank you, Kylie. Lastly, we have Lauren from Kush Cards, who has built an incredibly successful greeting card company in this niche. The first of its kind, might I add. Lauren's advice is all about consistency and storytelling. Here's what she had to share. To truly connect with your brand's audience, ensure your brand message and vision across platforms are consistent. The same person someone meets at the trade show is the same person they should be seeing online and they engage with on Instagram. Share your story while doing it. I often share how my ideas were sparked on a New York City subway ride. It's important to your community to know where you started and where you're headed. Keep it real, keep it positive, and stay authentic. Lauren's advice about your brand's vision staying consistent and sharing your story is a great reminder that your audience loves to connect with real people behind the brand. It's those personal stories that help create lasting impressions and relationships with your audience. I am so thankful to all these wonderful women for taking the time to share genuine advice and insightful knowledge to uplift other women in this space. And remember, no matter where you're at in your journey, there's always room and time to uplift another woman in hers. We're all in this together. And the more we collaborate and uplift one another, the stronger our community gets. 
collaboration over competition, baby. Thank you for tuning in and watching, guys. If you found value in today's video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on my content in the future. But drop a comment below and let me know the advice that resonated with you the most. I know there were a lot of great tidbits in here. If you're interested in other videos, my last upload was an explanation of hemp-derived D9, and my next upload will be sharing my first PR unboxing of a fun e-rig. Stay lifted, stay empowered, and I'll see you next Thursday or Saturday. Peace! And if you didn't hear it yet today, I appreciate you. Bye!